Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So in today's daily challenge on lead code, uh, we I will show you two methods to solve the problems, uh, starting from the brute force solution uh, to a single one line solution also. Okay, just one line approach. Uh, I will also show and it will be very interesting. The intuition behind it, uh, we will discuss everything and uh, the solution will be very interesting. So uh, keep watching the video till the end. Okay, so... Uh, Although this is a very easy problem, but it can be solved in a really cool way also. So uh, if you try to find the kth character in the string game one, okay. So uh, you are given an initial word A and every time what you do, you change each character to the next character and append that word to get a new word. And this, this thing you keep performing every time, this thing you keep performing every time, uh, unless, you get, unless you get the kth character and uh, you just return what is what will be your kth character. So uh, you must remember there is a one based indexing here. You are given a positive integer k. If you are asked for k equals to one, you need to return the first character itself. Uh, so that's how that's how it is done. And k can be up to five hundred. So since this uh, this thing is quite less, a brute force, a complete brute force solution by constructing the string will also work here. Uh, so let's see why it will work and otherwise even if for large values of k we can just do it i will show you that uh, small solution also so uh, let's just see what you can do uh, first you have the string a okay uh, so what you need to do you can change a to b and append b okay you can append b you get the string a b now you change each character of a b you get B, C. You change to the next character, you get B, C. And uh, you just append uh, B, C to this A, B. You get something like this. Now, uh, if you want to change this to the next level, you will no need to go to B, C, C, D. Because you just add one character. You just go to the next character for every character in this string. And just append that B, C, C, D to this string to get the next string. Okay. Uh, Okay, and so uh, in this way, you will get everything. Okay, uh, in this way, you will get everything. So let, let me just write till 16, till 16, uh, let me just write uh, because it will be helpful uh, later. So uh, B, C, C, D again and C, D, D, E. So you see, uh, we have till here, we have till here. And every time you see uh, the length of the string is increased by from one, it goes to two, it goes to four. It goes to 8 and then it goes to 16. So you see, uh, every time it goes in the multiple of 2. So you see the maximum character is E here. So you see, uh, K will be up to 500, right? So what is the highest power of 2 that gives 500 or greater? So that is lowest power of 2. So uh, that gives 9, right? If you see 9, uh, that's uh, not 9 exactly. Uh, yeah, 9 is something like 512. Is it? Yeah. So it's, it is. So uh, if for 9, uh, it's 512, it means that uh, for 1, if it is 2 to the power 1, it shifts to the next character. So the 10th character will be present, which is J. So 512th character will be J. I hope you understand this. So uh, you can keep a brute force solution for this. Okay. You can keep a brute force solution for this. So you just construct the string every time. So uh, you construct a string every time so as i told you just keep a string s okay and uh you start with an a, not empty you start with a right you start with a and you do while s dot size is less than k while s dot size is less than k you just go through the loop now uh you have another string t which you want to copy right you have this string t which you want to copy and uh this will be nothing but uh, you will go through s for int i 0 uh, i less than s dot size i plus plus you will go through uh, this s character uh, s string and you just change one more and append it to t right i hope you understand this uh, this method is very simple and brute force uh, so there is not much thought process involved there uh, you can just add one to this s of i you just add one to this s of i you just append that to t and at the end you just append this whole t to s so this whole t uh whole of t so let's say abc i am uh constructing this string t uh 
uh, which is now B C C T. Okay, so it is something like if this is S, this is T. I'm just appending this T to S and uh, make, uh, getting this new string, which is again S. Okay, which I am again treating like S. So uh, you see, I get uh, now I will get uh, the whole string which is uh, which has uh, at least K characters. So I will just uh, do what I will just return S of K minus one. So you see this solution will work fine and this whole loop as I had already told you will go not more than nine times. So only nine times this will iterate at max at max it will iterate at nine times. So uh, if you try to run this code, I think it should work correctly, right? I think it should work just fine. Uh, let me submit it and check also and see how it is the percentage bits. You see, uh, we have the accepted thing, but uh, percentage which is only like 36% or 41%. Uh, but how can you optimize this? How can you optimize this solution? So let's try to find a very interesting pattern in the problem. Try to find a really interesting pattern in the problem. So uh, what do we do? I am just removing this. Okay. I am just removing this. I just want uh, this whole thing. Okay. So, so now you try to consider one case. I am telling you one case. Let's say k equals to 12. You try to find what is the kth character, which is 12. You try. You try to focus now. Okay. So, uh, this is the 12th character. You see, this is the 12th character, which is D. Your answer will be D. Now, you try to view that from where did this D exactly come. So, so you see, this D has come from nothing but this character, right? This character, when I try to change, so this was our S character, okay? I try to change it to T, which was like B, C, C, D, and uh, this is again C, uh, D, D, E, and I am trying to append this character to this, this whole string to this, and you see, so this, this D has come nothing from this C, because this C got changed to T, okay? Now this C has come from this B, this B has come from this A. Okay, so what do you observe? What do you observe here? Uh, first, at first, here A was there. Every character, if you try to uh, tra trace back every character, you will reach A. So first thing which you need to observe, tracing every character, trace, tracing every character, you reach A. Okay, you reach A. No matter which character, you take CE, right? How was this E evolved? It was evolved from this D. Okay, now this D has evolved from this B, C, this from this B, this from this A. So every character is evolving from A. Now you try to focus on this 12 only. Now you try to focus on this 12 only. You see, if it is evolving from A, it means that it has it, it has been in the first position. A is always in the first position. So it, at some point in its lifetime, it has been in position first. Okay. Now it is currently in position 12th. How many positions it has shifted? You try to notice how many positions it has shifted. It has shifted by 11 positions. So how many positions it has shifted? It has shifted. So K will shift by k minus 1 positions. Okay. Now, how do you know that how many times? You see, it starts with a. You got to tell me that it starts with a and it has shifted to k minus 1 position. Now, you tell me that how can you tell that uh, how, how in what way it has shifted? In what way, in how many number of times it has shifted? So, if you see, first iteration, it has shifted by 1. Then, it has shifted by 2 places then it has shifted by eight places. Okay. Because this was like first place. This was like second. This was like fourth. This is like 12th. So it has shifted by eight. So you see total shifting was 11, 11 shifts. It can be written as one shift plus two shift plus four shift uh, plus eight shift, right? This can be written as this. Now, what do you see from here? These are all powers of 2. It's nothing but 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 3. And this is nothing but the binary representation of this 11. See, the binary representation of 11 is this. And you see, 
uh, it will shift the number of times. It will it will shift three times because one is there present in the binary representation three times. And that's why the representations of ones are given by like this. So the number of shifts which is happening, okay, 11 shifts. In all those shifts, uh, you will get change. The character will get change, which is equivalent to the count of ones. Count of ones. Okay. Just change it to the count of ones. So you see, uh, it will get shifted by the count of ones. So what you can do, you can uh, write a program which takes like, uh, it converts k, uh, k minus one to its binary representation, counts the number of ones and uh, you just do it. Okay, you just do it. Uh, you just add a to it, add a to it because a will get changed to that many number of times. So it's like a is getting changed, right? I hope you uh, notice this. A is getting changed to three times, which is the number of representations. Okay. Number of representations, uh, number of ones in the binary representation. So uh, you you see uh, there is an inbuilt function which takes uh, a number built in pop count, which will tell you that how many ones are present in the binary representation of k minus one. Counts number of ones in binary representation of a minus one and uh this can just do return a just return a plus x you just return a plus x okay so uh so you see if you try to submit it now if you try to submit it now uh, you will get a pretty cool runtime complexity so why did i uh, write one line code because you see this whole x this whole x you can just replace it here you can just directly write return a plus built in for count K minus one. So you see, uh, we have a pretty good runtime as well as memory com uh, complexity. So I guess uh, this method was really interesting. So if you learn something new from this easy problem, also then definitely uh, try to subscribe to my channel and keep following my uh, playlist also. That will be very helpful. Uh, so that's all. That's all for this problem. I guess uh, I hope you learned something new. Uh, that was all, and I hope your day goes as easy as the problem. Thank you so much. Thank you.